scale up systematically. By this point, you should be getting used to acting in a more disciplined way. You should be doing the things that you need to do that are absolutely crucial to your success. You have probably gotten over your fear or insecurity about the things that you normally would stay away from. Congratulations! But the problem is you can't become a disciplined person by choosing to practice self-control once in a while or most of the time. You're going to have to do it all the time. This sounds impossible, but with the right system, you can get there sooner rather than later. By this point, it should already be clear to you that scaling up discipline is all about stepping up when things have become easy. For example, maybe you used to park right next to the entrance at your local grocery store. After a few weeks, you may have managed to park fairly far away. This is great, but you shouldn't stop there. Things may be comfortable at this point. You may be thinking that this is a comfortable distance and you're taking your time, parking at the farthest point away from the entrance. When you scale up systematically, you focus on when things get easy. Believe me, walking from where you're parked now to the front door of your grocery store would have been unthinkable a few months or weeks ago. Now you're able to do it and it seems easy. Well, this is precisely the point where you scale up. Once things become easy, you then scale up and decide to park farther and farther away. Your cue is when things become easy. Unfortunately, if you're just going with your hunches, you probably will end up sabotaging yourself. Become impatient one day and backslide. You will find yourself where you started. To keep things going, you need to scale up systematically. How do you do this? First, you need to scale up intensity. In the case of parking farther and farther away from the entrance, keep parking further away. Go for the halfway point now and the farthest parking slot from the entrance. Once you've gotten comfortable with that, pick the next. Then ultimately, you will reach the farthest point from the entrance. This also applies to a workout. Maybe you're lifting 10 pound weights. Increase the intensity of your workouts by stepping up the number of repetitions you do. Next, scale up the weight of the dumbbells and bars you are lifting. When you are practicing discipline with food, you may want to increase the number of foods you choose not to eat. For example, if you started out by consciously avoiding bread, rice, mashed potatoes, or any other high carbohydrate food item, you might want to increase the number of foods you're staying away from. Similarly, if you are practicing discipline by reading lots of books, try to increase intensity by reading more difficult books. These are fairly easy to find. Lots of books out there take a lot of effort to read. Add a few more of those titles to your weekly reading list. Get used to them. Once you become comfortable with them, add more titles. Finally, if you are trying to step up your personal discipline by hanging out with toxic people, spend more time with very difficult people, people who are very hostile and with bad attitudes, and overcome your personal reservations against them. Sometimes you have to immerse yourself with really problematic people to achieve a breakthrough. You might also want to scale up volume. If you are trying to practice discipline by reading, increase your word count. If you are at 10,000 words per week, once things have settled down and you have gotten used to reading that many words, Step it up to maybe 15,000 or even 20,000. It all depends on what you're comfortable with. Also, if you are hanging out with very difficult people, increase the amount of time you spend with them. This goes a long way in helping you control your emotions and help you become a less reactive person. Scale up scheduling. If you're using your current daily schedule to become a more disciplined person, you can scale things up by sticking to a narrower window to an hour time frame in which to cheat. People are able to stick to a fixed schedule because they have a fairly wide window of when to show up or when to do certain things. You can scale up the discipline that you're getting from your daily schedule by narrowing this window. Previously, you needed to be somewhere between 4.30 and 5. You can narrow that to between 4.40 to 5 and then scale it up to 4.50 and 5 p.m. The bottom line here is quite simple. You need to increase your discipline and patience by constantly challenging. It really all boils down to knowing when to scale up. Personally. The most effective approach based on my experience is when things get easy. That's when you know you've achieved a routine. That's precisely what you need to break out of because it's very easy to feel like you can coast. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.